petroleum, natural gas, and coal are all fossil fuels. They are used energy sources in the United States and around the world. They are all um, sources that have drawbacks, and none of them are sustainable sources of energy. So we need to start focusing on renewable sources of energy, which includes nuclear, wind, solar, this is all in other renewables, and hydroelectric. These need to be used so we can replace the fossil fuels that are all combustion reactions that are putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere at a, at a rate that cannot be sustained. So what we need to do is take these three main sources of energy and replace them with these that are lower down on the graph, these sources of renewable and sustainable. So here's a breakdown of those renewable energies from 2015. So renewable energy, including nuclear, is about 20%. This is a tall order, but not impossible. And so we're going to go into these types of renewables that include solar and hydroelectric and wind and geothermal. Um, we're going to start with fuels for cars. Um, that being the petroleum was the highest amount, and that is basically transportation sources. And we're also going to get into nuclear power for generating electricity for the grid. So because of cars having such a personal um, impact on ev many many, many people all over the world, and also um, the trucks and buses and, and airplanes uh, and petroleum being the number one energy source. Uh, we are looking at gasoline. First at uh, biodiesel. So biodiesel, this is already out there and on the rise as well. But biodiesel is fuel that is made from renewable sources. These are plants that can be grown and um, either used directly as uh, or processed and used directly as a ga as a fuel or blended with uh, uh, gasoline, which is coming from oil. And that's what we have with um, E85. If you've heard of E85, this is at the at the pump. This is ethanol that is grown from plants um, from natural renewable sources. The most common is corn, um, but it also can come from sugar cane and switchgrass, but this has to be blended with oil, which is still a fossil fuel. So it does take uh, energy to do all this processing of, say, the corn into the ethanol and also the blending. Um, and so there is some downside to that, but at least we're not pumping it out of the ground. We're growing our fuel for both of these gasoline alternatives. We'll also get into types of cars that don't use gasoline at all in Chapter 7. And cars in general have the most investment thanks to consumers wanting and needing their cars and alternative fuels. Also, of, as far as... Um, natural and renewable sources. There's biogas, which is using methane from landfills as um, garbage decomposes. It produces methane gas and uh, that's a smelly gas. And so we can use that methane instead of pumping it out of the ground. There's also biomass. Biomass is using um, wood, uh, ideally not wood that's new wood, but um, you know, reclaimed wood or even animal waste um, that can be burned in combustion reactions. So biomass is something that is also something that's considered natural and renewable because we're growing it, we're not pumping it or digging it out of the ground. Uh, we'll also talk about hydrogen fuel in a future chapter. And hydrogen is also something uh, discussed as an alternative fuel for cars. We also have to ask if it is um, sustainable to grow our food and use it for fuel instead. So using corn for um, gasoline, does that make sense? Is that sustainable? So there are ethical concerns about growing corn and using it for fuel instead of for food. Um, and so sugar cane and corn are the, num are the highest, uh, I guess, are the highest on the list as far as 
Does this make any sense at all? So um, there are other non-food sources that can be used for biofuels and processed into ethanol and diesel, which include the switchgrass and palm oil. So there are certainly um, there are certainly things that are being discussed as far as the sustainability in terms of uh, these biofuels, but in general they are still um, you know considered more sustainable than pumping fossil fuels out of the ground. So the non-renewable, non-sustainable fossil fuels are gasoline, coal, oil, and methane. These are renewable, but not always considered sustainable and, as we just saw, ethical. Um, but this sustainability includes environmental, economic, and social, the three pillars of sus sustainability. Fossil fuels um, are considered not sustainable, having only basically the economic um, part of it and not the environmental nor even the social because uh, fossil fuels are usually coming from countries that are disadvantaged. And so fossil fuels have allowed for cheap energy and cheap stuff. So profits have been made by a small number of companies worldwide. But at the expense of what? I think that's coming at the expense of the environmental and social pillars of sustainability. So um, there are concerns here uh, overall, but all of these other types of renewable energies are considered sustainable and not only focusing on economic for a small number of companies.